Hello everyone, this is Daniel Fotheringham Productions 2020 here, and I finally decided I'm going to do it. Now, it's been a long time since, well, this film has actually been around for 20 years or so, meaning that it's now considered quite an interesting classic to some. Now, before I actually go into other things, let me quote from the original version of this film. It is a wonderful place, and if you have the imagination to travel here, you'll know why. What does that sign say? Sodor Railway. Really reliable and right on time. And you weren't, little Thomas, and you're being bossy, Gordon. Now, Please excuse me, I'm meeting Mr. Conductor. He's taking care of us whilst the Topham Hat takes an important holiday. Ugh, I think we get out of ourselves. Out of my way! I have unfinished business here, and I need to finish it fast! What was that? That, Gordon, was Diesel 10. He's actually the worst Diesel he's ever had. In fact, he's actually the worst Diesel even worse than our first one. He has caused so much trouble to our railway before, on other railways too, but now he's back to cause some trouble. He's 10 out of 10 for devious deeds and brutal strength. He's a blast from the past who hates us steam engines. Maybe, maybe we do need Mr. Conductor here after all. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically sort of a quote from the original version and it's more of a tribute actually however this redub does actually require a lot of people so here's what i'd like to ask max kochanowicz studios i actually worked on his redubs with him mainly recording voices for him since one of my first by george which is actually quite a good episode. And he's continued to this day, which I'm very glad of. Edward the Blue Engine, hashtag two. Like the former, he actually has done a couple. I haven't done as many with him, but he's certainly not bad at all. The Green Tender Engine, number three. Now, he actually has done a couple. I've only done at least one of his, but I think that he's doing very well indeed. Elracia Thomas Friends. I've done a couple of redoubts for him as well. It's really just fascinating just looking at all of these. He's actually got a couple which are coming in up now. Leo Thomas 524 hashtag 1. I've done at least one redub with him as well, but I think that he's done very well indeed. Ava, the Kawaii Panda Bear. I know this is odd, but she might actually be quite it's a very good role. Wario the Legend. Now, while he hasn't managed to start his redubs yet, I think that he does a very good job. He's also been working on a few lines of other redubs too, which I really like. Thomas is True Blue, number one. He's done a couple of unboxing videos, but he could be quite useful here. Yeah. He's also started a couple of redubs too. Mr. Lulu Loud, the Thomas fan. I'd actually like this one to join as well, because he or she could actually be quite an asset, basically meaning a very important piece to this. Or in this case, a credit to our team. Splendid Wolf 442 Studios. He's done a couple of videos and I'm actually impressed with him. He could be quite a credit to the team too. 
Ricardo is stupid. He is also working on a couple of redubs too, including, for the moment, Thomas and the Magic Railroad redub, which I think is going very well. I'd actually like him to join because he's actually a very interesting person and could work well here. Caleb Marshall. He started a couple of redubs too, so I'm actually interested to see how this goes. Now these next few, I'd actually like to join because they are two interesting people who are actually working on others' redubs. Cody Archambault. He's done a couple of lines too, which I'm rather curious about. He could be quite good too. Nice Ellie 274 Like before, this person has also done lines as well. Bert, the blue engine. He could be quite useful as well. Gordon, the big engine, hashtag four. Like before, he's also done a couple of videos and I'm really curious about what he can do. Also, I apologize if I accidentally upset anyone. I also apologize for this long video, but anyways. Henry the Green Engine 3. Interestingly, I'm actually quite curious about him too. James the Brain, who has done a couple of redubs, which I'm pretty curious about. And Edward the Blue Engine Studios. Both actually could be really useful, which I really think could work well. While James Brain has done a couple of different videos, including a couple of redubs, Edward the Blue Engine Studios has also been working on and helping others too, which I like to see. Now, however, I'd also like a couple of popular channels to actually help me on this too. The Tuxter Intensifies. He's actually a very talented person, and I think that he could do well in this voice acting. S.A. Music, who is also known as Sadrian Afro. He's edited in a couple of remixes, which I really like to see. They're almost like the show themselves. And that's exactly what I'd like to see here. Ace of Trains Productions. Now, he's also done the same. Some of them may be closer to the originals, but nonetheless, both are actually very impressive. Hangster Man. Like the others, he's also done a lot of pretty good videos. In fact, several of them are actually VHS strips, which I actually really like to see, since they are actually in a usually good quality. And I'd actually like him to join because this could actually put him right to the test. Now, these next three may be odd, but I thought I might as well include them. Thomas Fan261. I thought I might as well include him because I'd like him to voice a certain character. And I'm sure that he can do it too. I'd actually like to see that happen because all of these are actually very talented. Joseph Marshall. He's already done a couple of different videos too, including re-uploading certain shows. But I'm sure as long as you put non-profit in your channel description, you should be fine. I'd really like to see how this goes. Train Boy 55 Productions. Like with Ricardo is Stupid, he's almost working on a Thomas and the Magic Railroad redub, although it's his version of course, so it'll actually be quite different. I'm actually interested to see how this goes. Mason Day. He's already done a couple of different videos, and I'd really like to see how all of this can go. I was also wondering if I could use your instrumental, because it's actually pretty close. And don't worry. I'll make sure to credit you properly. Now, 
these next ones are actually even much more popular. Sinner Massacre Thanks for watching this episode of Angry Video Game Nerd on Dennis the Menace. But the real menace is having your unencrypted data being... Indeed. We can't forget that. He's actually very notable, but... I wonder if he can voice act. Come on, that's not even a good question. I'm sure he can. These next two are actually basically ones who have done Grand Theft Auto 5 videos, and I'm rather curious to see what they have got. Jelly, he's actually very popular, and has done a couple of Grand Theft Auto 5 videos, mainly confirming mods. But I wonder if I can put his challenge further. No, no doubt there, I presume. Don't doubt yourself, mate. You definitely are talented. And the same goes with Lazar Bean. He's from Australia and I'm sure he'd do very well. Like the former, he's also done a couple of Grand Theft Auto 5 videos. But I wonder if he can put his challenge to the test. Yes, indeed. Phantom Strider. He's already done a couple of videos too. What I really like about his channel is that he's done both top 5 and top 10 lists, describing about how each of them has done, including his most recent top 5 worst and best modern Mario games. I also wonder if he will do well, but I'm sure he won't fail, because he is once again fantastic. These last four are from my home, the United Kingdom. Cadicorous. Indeed, he is rather fascinating. He's already done very well as an English channel. In fact, he's actually been reviewing quite lots of games. Most of them being quite bad, others in the middle, and some actually been good. But can he put his... his ultimate test? Come on! I'm not being ridiculous. Go there. Like I said, anyone can do it. This next one, sadly for me, didn't like this film. But I'm not going to force him to do this, if he doesn't want to. Gone Dark. He was from Scotland, but he has some hate for the movie. I can't blame him at all. But the reason why I'm asking him is because he could be quite a good role. In fact, his videos actually are really interesting. He's been looking back on his childhood, which is what I really like to hear, because these days sometimes it could not really be that good. These last two, I've actually, well, I've actually watched their videos, but I'm rather curious to see what they can do. Jeffrey Kitch. Now, believe it or not, he's actually one of the few which I've actually watched. He's actually done quite a, a couple of good YouTube poops, as well as also looking at character chronicles and book and TV adaptations. But I am curious to see if he can actually voice the character, which I'm rather interested to see if he can do, and I'd really like that. And like I said, no doubt I'm sure everyone will do very well. And of course, I'm on the list. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm being in. You know, I'm pretty sure who who I mean because you've seen his name. James A. Williams. Indeed, who could forget him? He's done a couple of reviews, as well as also looking back on different series, 
like Bob the Builder, Fireman Sam, and of course Thomas and Friends. He's also been looking at a couple of other shows like Noddy and Pingu. That's done a couple of DVD reviews. But to put this further to the test, I wonder if he can be a very good voice actor. And yes, I'm not doubting anyone. I'm sure they'll all do well. Unlike a lot of redubs, I actually want everyone to do the best they can at their voice acting. Because I want this to be good. Not just good. Fantastic. Now, I'm not going to show the full transcript here, because I've already included it in the description, just to let you know. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about is what will be happening. So, like I said, this was a very special announcement. Although, what I should mention, and I'm actually going to mention it now, is that I actually want only one user playing one role only. Now this is however because I want to actually give it more variety and give others a chance to voice act. So for characters like Mr. Conductor, he speaks with an American accent, the same with Burnett Stone, because they are played by Alec Baldwin and Peter Fonda respectfully. Whereas characters like Thomas, who, who I will be voicing, will speak with a British accent. Some of them I've also put young to actually clarify that. So I will be playing Thomas, of course, and then the rest of you fill it up. Now I tried to match some others as well. I put Gondarth as Gordon, who'll either speak with the Northern England, from the UK of course, otherwise a British or a posh accent. Then for James, he, he can even speak with either an Australian, British or a Scouse accent, and I chose Cadicus for the role. Now, Diesel 10, he speaks with a New Jersey accent, although in the original, he spoke with an, a gruff upper-class English accent or a Russian accent in Neil Cohn's first recording. Then for Patch, he speaks obviously once again with an American accent. Billy Two Feathers, Native American. Young Burnett, also American. Young Tasha and Stacy Jones, female only which I clarified that, and both have American accents too. Burnett Stone, like I said before, has an American accent because of what I mentioned before. Now Spat and Dodge can either have British or American accents. Now let's move on. The next characters are here. So Lily can speak with a Californian American accent, and Lily's mother also has an American accent. Both are female only, mind you. Now, Toby, the tram engine, can speak with either an English or a posh accent, and I chose Geoffrey Kitts for the role. Henry, who can, who I chose to speak for with a New Zealand or a British accent, I chose Phantom Strider. And Percy, who I chose to have a Welsh or a British accent, also young, I chose Thomas Fan 261, because he's probably the youngest I chose. Minus a couple of others, of course. Harold, who will have a pilot voice accent, I chose Laz Beam for this. Then we have Sir Topham Hat, Mumbles Only, that's what I clarified it as. Now, in the original there was only one railroad announcer, which I extended by seven. So the first one will have a Californian accent, the second will have an Italian mob boss American accent, the third a New York accent, the fourth, a Bronx accent. The fifth will have a Canadian accent. Canadian once again. Like all the actors in the theatrical cut were. Most anyways. Number six will have a Midland US accent, United States. The seventh will have a Boston accent. And finally, the eighth will have a Northern American accent. Basically up north from the United States. 
Now, Bertie, I decided to choose either a Cockney or British accent, and I chose James A. Williams for the role. Junior will have a Scottish accent. You'd have to be quite um, talented to do that. I mean, I'm saying it's hard because accents are not the easiest thing to do. Now for the last five roles. The motorbike rider, who has a northern New England accent, when I mean by New England, I mean United States. Oh, and I should actually clarify, he was originally, and I'm quoting, P.T. Boomer. His full role sadly got cut. He does make a few cameo appearances, of course. Then we have Anne and Clarabelle, who will have English accents, meaning from, well, England in the United Kingdom. I should clarify that. Yep, there we go. And both are female only. The tumbleweed next will have a southern US accent, meaning like from Texas, which I should also I'll clarify, because I want to actually make sure to be fair as I can. So that's most of the roles. Before we get into the last one, I should actually mention that the reason why I'm actually doing it one person per role only is not because I am cruel. I mean, come on. It's actually because I want to actually give a chance for others to do so. And if some can't do it, then others can fill in. Which is what I like to see. Also, I pretty much apologise for taking longer than I should have. But yes, it is a very hard job. Especially when you are the director. Even directors have problems. But I don't blame all of them. Sometimes it can be tight, like with me. And that's why I don't others. And the final role, which I'm not going to give to anyone because, like I said before, I'm not cruel, but I'm going to keep this especially lady who will speak with either an English or a British accent, originally voiced by Britt Allcroft although not in some versions of the original script. She's basically appearing in, and I, I don't want to spoil you, you too much, the last part of the movie. And of course, it's once again female only. Now, here's where it gets even stricter, because you must remember that the lines need to be done at least by Wednesday to Friday this week. I also noted that I'm very sorry for any stutters that have happened in this video. And why is that? Because the program I used has much better audio quality, which is why at times the audio will be less easy to hear in places, unfortunately. I forgot to mention that, well, if you basically manage to get the role of its conductor, you'll actually get the special monologue that was at the beginning, before the actual film starts. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm very sorry if I wasted any of the times, which I give my apologies as well. But I thought I might as well mention all those things because it's very important that we get this right. Now this won't be an absolutely big project in terms of money of course because this is a non-profit video but it will require a lot of work and one last thing the reason why I want you all to give it all, all you've got is because I want you to actually make it it seem really good but like I said before this will be non-profit well, that should pretty much be it then. Thank you all for watching this fantastic video. 
and I'll see you all next time.